Hey, what is good my friends? Welcome back. So today we're going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077 on the MSI Kala. Now the specifications can be found down in the description below and we have some specs over here. And we're currently, whoops, wrong button. Wrong button again. <laughs> I have to get used to this layout. These are the settings we're currently playing on. So 1080p, let's make that full screen, shall we? And we're also going to be, and we're also on low settings, so we're also going to be playing on um, 900p, just because that's an option. These are the low settings. Lens flare, motion blur off. And it's medium to low settings. So there's still some more FPS to be gained if we tinker around with the settings, which we'll do in this video. Now, if you want to see the comparison between this MSI Kala and the Lenovo Legion Go and the, over here, ROG Ally, subscribe to the channel and you'll see that video once it comes out. Now, my first impression of the MSI Claw is that it is very, very quiet. Why is it quiet? You probably wonder. Well, it's probably just got to do with the giant vented backside, which I absolutely love. We also have the SD card port, the true gaming sign. And overall, I really love this device. The hold is so nice. These protruded like sides, they make a very comfortable grip, like holding a PS5 controller, which in my opinion is one of the best controllers to hold. Also performance wise, it's doing really, really good. I was like, holy cow. I had some issues with Call of Duty Warzone. Um, I don't know if that is my fault, but I had some like weird artifacts glitching in the screen. Maybe it's an update, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I just need to restart a device when I'm doing updates. But it is what it is. I keep pressing the wrong freaking buttons again. Okay, so let's try some 800p. Nope. Sorry, 900p. There we go. So this is 900p. Okay. Also a thing I noticed about this is that um, it's not only quiet, it's also drawing a lot more power than the, the its um, AMD counterparts. This can boost up to like 45 watts while still maintaining a relatively, well, quiet uh, sound profile. Um, I'm not even using an aggressive sound profile, but I really like the experience. The uh, RG Ally and Legion Go, they can be a little bit noisy at times. And when you're like in the living room on the couch and you can hear that little thing go like, mm, yeah, that's not always for, you know, your spouse. That's not always very nice. <laughs> But this thing is rather quiet. Also a thing I noticed is that, watch this. So I have this, um, look at the performance. We have these stands, uh, like docks. And look what happens when, look at the performance. Look what happens when I plug it in. Well, obviously, obviously it's gonna drop now. But watch what happens when I plug it in. Look what happens to the performance. It drops. And it's not drawing nearly as much wattage. So I don't know if that is a problem. I also have a cable over here that, I mean, the original cable has 65 watts and this cable is 100 watts, but it makes no difference which one I plug in. So if, you're wanting, if you wanna use a dock with this one, um, I've tried a, quite a couple of docks. They all give the same result. You get decreased performance. So that is a little sad. Look, much more performance without the um, 
stand. Stand? What am I saying? Okay, so let's see how much FPS we can really push. By the way, this looks really good. Like visually, this is this this looks amazing. So let's see if we can force it to show some more frames. This is ultra quality balanced. Nah, let's just put it like that. Let's put this on low, low, low. No, not high, low. Turn the lens flare off. Okay. Then Ermagerd. So this is pretty much the lowest settings you can play. And it's not making a huge difference in FPS. Maybe a little bit of smoothness, but Overall, I think this is the best experience I've had on Cyberpunk on the handhelds. Um, I'm gonna make more comparison videos. I'm just gonna make a, like a dedicated video on the on the MSI Claw now because we have the new Arc 8 GPU in here. <laughs> what do you guys think? Which team are you? But honestly, just from, from my first impression with this device, is this is my favorite grippy device when it comes to these um, handhelds. The grip on this one is superior to the rest. Even though it looks a lot like the ROG Ally, the sides on this, this makes a huge, huge difference to me. Even though it might look very small, I just put my finger under here like that. Hello, and you can rest. You can rest your device on that, and you don't get like hand fatigue when playing for uh, extended periods of time. Also, we're hooked in now, but this is a portable device, so let's remove the power cable. By the way, all this time we have been playing on the performance mode. So this is just on regular battery. Also, still really smooth. We have the frame time under here. You can, like big spikes, they show up as little hiccups. You can, most of the time you can feel them, but I'm not really noticing, even though it might be a little spiky, not really noticing any lag. So let's, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that, sorry. <laughs> video. Let's put it back in 1080p, see what the performance is like then. So significantly less performance. I think 900p is the sweet spot. Um, that's also a thing I, I really am bothered by, by the uh, Legion Go, is that your the device is like native 1600p but it can't run any AAA games on that resolution because it's gonna lag out like massively. And you have to constantly switch and, I don't know, I think a 1080p screen for handhelds is perfect. Maybe even, maybe even a 900p screen. <laughs> I think 1080p will do. Can we kill this guy? You gone. Come on then. I have to say that I don't like the vibrations on this device. Oh, got a little hiccup there.
But like playing a game like Cyberpunk is just... It feels really good. So, that was it for this video. Once again, if you want to see the comparisons between the ROG Ally, Legion Go and the MSI Claw, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you around.